Making the announcement, the Minister of Agriculture, Water and Forestry explained that the strategy is aimed at improving the sustainability of the company and the Namibian meat industry. As a result, Meatco employees were afforded an option of applying for voluntary early retirement. He said a total of 74 workers have applied as part of Meatco's turnaround strategy. Meatco is now in a position to implement a new streamlined organogram and operational model with no job losses and also without incurring additional costs. We believe that with the new strategy, there will be improved efficiency and effectiveness in the operations of MITCO to the benefit of all stakeholders in the livestock industry. On the way forward, the minister stated that a meeting held agreed on the need for short-term studies to assess the challenges facing the industry as well as the large stock subsector south and north of the veterinary cordon fence. Meatco board member indicated that the move was initiated on how to build a Meatco that is sufficient, sustainable and profitable. The employees of Meatco, they have assured us that they are very committed to build Meatco. They have contributed into the initiatives and strategies. So both our internal stakeholders, the employees, the union, under the guidance of the ministry, there has been an agreement that we are clear, we are all happy, and we are going to chart uh, the cause moving forward. The union further called on employees to consult the officers before retrenching their workers. They call upon all employers in the country whenever there's a problem in terms of the economy or the financial problem, let us not first come to a conclusion of by saying we are retrenching the people. First, let us try to get another alternative in search of retrenching the people. Yes, Midgo did. The Mid Corporation of Namibia has a workforce of about 650 employees.